sophomore for the Cougars. Leads the Cougs in points and rebounds and steals. This is as battered and bruised of a team as you will find in the conference and maybe in the country. Ellaby down near the paint. Pollard keeps it alive, and Ellaby is able to get it back up top to Isaac Bonton, who's been in double figures the last six games. These two guys, number 10 Bonton and right here CJ Ellaby, they're going to take the lion's share of the shots for number 10 Bonton and right here CJ Ellaby, they're going to take the lion's share of the shots for Washington State as Ellaby gets many times. Oh, oh. Missed opportunity, Noah Williams. Ellaby. 44% from behind the arc. But has really struggled in conference play, just 24% in the four games up until now. But looks like a completely different player does Anthony Mathis. LB chucking it up. He'll go to the line for two. If you're a Pac-12 fan of any of these schools, because now, unlike last year, their biggest resume win right now. Now, they have beaten almost all of the teams that they were expected to be, and, and convincingly, just like they did against UCLA. 11 freshman from Mali, a five-star recruit. Just his eighth game, he reclassified. And because of some paperwork with the NCAA, couldn't begin the season on the floor, but has had that cleaned up. He's got potential written all over him. I hope he sticks around for more than just a year, though, Aaron. He might need it. LB answers on the other. That, that Dana Altman's looking for that defensive stopper. He's had a couple of conversations with guys, Justin and Duarte, and neither one has really emerged. But you can see Duarte. Look, he's number five. He's really, really long. He's 6'6", six, six, wings, six, six. He's got a great wingspan. He's just got to be more active. Oh, LB. He's got a great wingspan. 6'6", six, six. he's got a great wingspan. He's just got to be more active. Oh, LB. This is the most active I've seen Chris Duarte as an individual defender. Now, he leads the team in rebounds, so it's not like he's a guy that just kind of stands around and watches the action. But as far as his one-on-one -on -one defense, he's been awesome. It's an 8 nothing Oregon run to put them back in front. That'll be under 10 to shoot. And a foul on Pritchard. Not Baden Pritchard. Man, has he been so good this year. That'll be left open for three, and he drills his her. Ends up being a wide open look for Roberts. What a game of runs. This has been another Ducks turnover. Ellaby, easy two. Ellaby. But right in front of the referee. Ellaby, the three. And he's showing off his skill set. I mean, that's just one possession, but he waited. He surveyed the, the floor a little bit. I thought he held it a little bit too long, but then showing that he... On, but then showing that he's on, but then showing that he's a one-on-one -on -one threat. Triple. Saved by the Cougs. In the first 20 seconds. Really interesting to me, Aaron. There's a lot of guards on the floor right now. The two big guys are Coons and Justin, number 10 and number 4 in white. Everybody else has got a perimeter skill set. Ellaby, left hand, Mono foul, count it! Stick your nose in there, get a rebound. Double-double tonight for Ellaby, eight. Greatly improved, Williams pushing. Williams, Ellaby the finish. Uh, this is very important, you know. We, we haven't been given much respect, but, you know, it's not to be given, it's to be earned. And uh, I think we got to go out every night and take it, and, and take what's ours.